Saskatoon Fairview used to be an NDP stronghold. It's the area around Confederation Park Mall. In 2011, Jennifer Campo won Fairview by 247 votes for the Saskatchewan Party. She won again last year by an even closer margin, just 182 votes more than the NDP. She quit and Fairview is back up for grabs. For the Sask Party, if they can hold the seat, I think that will be a sort of indicator that what they've been saying is that we're on the right track even though it wasn't very popular. For the NDP, if they can win, I think it puts another bit of wind in their sails given that they you know that Mr. Miley won his seat in the last by-election not too long ago as well. So there's a lot on the table for both parties. Cameron Scott is running for the Saskatchewan Party. Vicky Mowat is running for the NDP. They're challenged by Shaw Rook for the Saskatchewan Liberals, Taylor Bolin for the Green Party, and David Prokopchuk for the Progressive Conservatives. <laughs> Residents say they're seeing more NDP orange signs in this area full of seniors, new Canadians, and working class families. I kind of look around neighborhoods and I kind of look at the families that uh, have a lot of children in their houses. So whatever, you know, on our street, there's a lot of families and a lot of young children. So if they want to vote that way, there's got to be something to it. As for what people in Saskatoon Fairview will vote on? This year we'll probably go for NDP and for Vicky. Uh, and that's, I don't know, last year we went diff totally different. Get rid of the debt, first and foremost. Uh, other than that, like, you got to pay for your services. NDP, simple question is, I'm going to vote for NDP. Because I think uh, NDP is uh, more... Uh, into looking after immigrants, brown people. They're fooling around with people's livelihood and things are getting sort of tough nowadays. There's lots of homeless people and I'd just like to see them think about everybody instead of, you know, just the people that have money. Other political scientists tell me the Saskatchewan Party's budget cuts may be unpopular, but they say the NDP has yet to present its vision for Saskatchewan. And it needs to do that soon with this by-election only two weeks away. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.